All right, guys, how's everybody feeling today? Ready to move a little uh, spring um, solstice here? We, you know, I did a yoga class over the weekend. Actually, it was goat yoga. Okay. And I actually just um, brought up this little um, saying about, you know, spring. And it's great because now we're in like the true balance. Our nights and days are completely balanced and it's time to renew. It's time to refresh. So that's what we're going to do today. Renew and refresh. Okay. So let's start with our breath. Are there people missing today? What's going on? Maybe we have a small crew this morning. Spring break. <laughs> Here we go. Inhale. Exhale down. Again, inhale. Exhale down. So think about bringing that nice fresh spring air in. And this is our sun salutation. You say hello to the sun. Exhale down. Again, inhale up little exhale down. So each time I'm going to turn sideways, I want you to give a little bit of a back extension. Inhale, reaching back, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. Now let's do these big figure eights. We're going to warm up that body from head to toe. Inhaling and exhaling. Yeah, so I did a little goat yoga this weekend too. That was fun. <laughs> They were so cute. This woman has a farm. It's called Liberty Haven Farms. It's in uh, Howell. And she rescues farm animals. So, you know, the proceeds go to her vet bills and the feed and the whole bit. So it's kind of nice. Good. Now let's take those hips. Do those figure eights with the hips. Good, nice and easy. Now we're gonna go back to some of those yoga moves. This, these, we've done these before. These are called our moon flowers. So the first thing I want you to do is just work the arms right now, right? You're reaching out and then in. So you're getting a little benefit to the back, right? I see how my elbows come in. As your elbows come in, you're gonna feel a nice little strengthening in the back of the body, right? So let's do a few of these, inhaling and exhaling. And then we're going to push, put the legs with it. So we're going to inhale and exhale, right? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. These are moon flowers. We're just going to do several of these. And I'm going to take you to the sunflowers as if we were picking out the sunflowers and bring them back up towards the sun. Good. Inhaling and exhaling. Good. So from our moon flowers, we're going to go right in, but I don't want you to drop your head. So you're going to look towards the device, right? Just as if you were picking up the flowers and bringing them back up, right? Very gentle flexion, right? And up, inhaling and exhaling. Thinking about picking up those beautiful flowers, bringing them up towards the sun and back down. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to put these together. Right, just a couple more sunflowers. And we're going to go from moonflower to sunflower. So it'll look like this. We've got a moonflower. We've got a sunflower. We've got a moonflower. So we're warming up our entire body with this move. Sunflower, moonflower to sunflower, moonflower. Sunflower. Got a couple more. Sunflower and moon to sun. Let's do two more. Last one. And then we're going to go back into our mountain position. Okay, so we're going to take our feet and really ground them into our floors, mats, wherever you're on. We're going to think about getting your big toe and little toe to just push down into the floor, the inside of your heel and the outside of your heel. Now you're going to lift all 10 toes up and then push them back down. And you're going to feel a nice grip. Okay, we have so many nerve endings in our feet, which really 
create that foundation and that helps with our balance. So I want you to do that with your feet again. Okay, this is also great if you're, I don't want you to be barefoot now, but if you wanna try this later and you're barefoot, it's a really good exercise for those little nerve endings in the feet. Again, big toe pushes in, little toe pushes in, the inside of the heel and the outside of the heel. So you've got all four points of your feet Ground it. Now you take all 10 toes, push them down into the floor, and then lift the 10 toes up and then put them back down. And you feel a real good sensation there, right? So now this is our little, this is our anchor. So our feet are anchored in that floor in the ground. We're going to inhale. Bring that inhale all the way up. Here's our sun. We're going to give a little extension. Exhale and bring it down. We've got three of these. Inhale up extend, exhale down. One more, inhale up, extend, exhale down. Now give that little bit of rotation to the spine, gentle, gentle, just bringing that warmth into the lumbar spine right now. Big figure eight, so I'm gonna take a little wider stance right now. Good. Now we're going to play with some yoga postures. So we're going to do a warrior two. So your front toe is pointed forward and your back foot is like a, it's like a T. Okay. You see that? So now we take a nice big step back. So I want you to think about the strength of your legs right now. Okay. This is the strongest posture in a yoga yogi's toolbox. Okay. So now I'm not going to even use my hand yet. I just want you to press gently forward. If you have any discomfort to the knee, you're just going to stop and just kind of hang in that pose because that's an isometric hold. So you're really strengthening the glute back here, the quad over here, and we're going to hold right here. We're going to bring those shoulders up, back and down. We're going to really lift up our chest, right? What I want you to do now is reach behind you right? You're just going to pretend there's a big beach ball behind you as you open up the chest and give me some nice big breaths. You're building strength just by staying here in this position. Now we're going to take those hands, thumbs up, and we're going to do some little archers here, right? We're going to just reach the hand together and pull back like you have a bow and arrow, right? Give me about five of those, two, three, now, if you're in a chair, you can absolutely do this in the chair as well, okay? But I see most of you are standing and that's wonderful. Okay, now we're gonna take that back hand, put it right here. We're gonna take the front hand and just lift it up. And if you'd like a nice little stretch, we're just gonna reach, reach ever so gently back. Good, now we're gonna take that front hand and put it right here and lift the other hand up and over. Now, before we go to the other side, we're going to just step back into our mountain position again. We're going to inhale, exhale down. Now we're going to do what we call the flight of the bird. So we're going to open that chest again, right? We're letting that, our heart open, welcoming spring, right? We're just going to step back and forth, right? So you don't, now if you're uncomfortable using your arms, you can hold on to the chair and just step back and forth, okay? Definitely, I just want you to get that little, this is also, I use this for balance training. You're shifting your weight back and forth. Excellent tool. Our muscles have a memory. So if you were to shift your weight back suddenly, your body would know where it needs to be, okay? This is a great, great exercise here just shifting back and forth. But just give me a couple more of those. And then we're gonna go to our warrior two on the other side. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take this toe, bring it out here. Here's that nice T again, remember the T? Slide this back. First thing I want you to do is feel the strength in the legs. If, you're, if you have a chair, absolutely, look. I'm gonna give you options, chair here, or you can even, if you want to sit, you can do your warrior two in your chair. Okay. So these are, you have three options there. Holding on, 
having a chair nearby or sitting in the chair. Okay, so here we go. Let's find that strength in that front leg, right? Feeling the strength in that back leg right in the glute. Shoulders are up, back and down. We're gonna take those hands out. We're gonna bring those shoulders up, back and down again. And we're gonna do our warrior over here, right? Our archer, two, three, four, five, eight of these, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna slide this hand down, bring this one all the way up. Good, taking the front hand, bringing it right here, lifting up and over. Walking those feet back. And we're gonna go back to our sunflowers and moonflowers. Moonflowers first, toes out. Again, hold on to the chair if you need to. Right here, do it one-handed. That's fine. All right, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Sunflower, pick the sunflower up to the sun. Here we go. Two, three, only five of these, four, and five. Let's regain our postures again. Shoulders up, back and down, chest lifted. Abs are drawn in reaching those hands up nice and high. Now we're gonna do our little shift differently. We, were, we went behind us in reverse. Now we're gonna go forward. So you're gonna take a shift forward. Your hands will come up right into a, call this our eye. Forward and back again. You're holding on to a chair, do one hand, right? Do one hand, that's fine. You're still shifting that body weight. You wanna take a moment in between and go over to the other side of the chair so you're working evenly. That works too. Here to here. Excellent, keep going. Perfect. Okay, let's just march it out in the middle here. Now we're gonna shift our weight side to side. Shoulders are back and down. Remember that strength in those abs and just shift. I want you to shift. See what I'm doing? I'm actually stepping to the side and I'm pushing back with that foot. I'm stepping and pushing back, right? So don't making sure you have enough. You still, you still end up with your feet hip distance apart. I don't want you to come here and become that skinny little tree that's going to fall. Okay. Remember we need a nice strong base. So you want a little wider base. So back here and push off and here and push and here and push. Good, now march it out in the middle. Nice, easy march. Good, let's go to the other side. We're gonna sh shift our weight over to the right, right? And shift and push back and shift and push back. Four and five and six, and seven, and eight. Good, holding on to our chairs, let's do our heel toes, up on our toes, back on our heels. 10 of these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, lift the outside leg, just lift, bent knee, right? You see me, I'm right here. I'm just leaving, my knee is bent. We're just gonna do eight of these for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're just gonna swing that leg forward and back for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come across for one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight. Now my hip's getting tired. I'm sure yours is. Just push side to side, nice and easy. Let that blood get back there, the oxygen back there. March it up and down. Now, I'm gonna turn sideways for this. We're gonna just take that knee, even with the other knee, and it's called a hydrant, just coming side to side, right? So it looks like this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Pressing the hips out. Let's do those big figure eights again. Well, look what I did. I have to separate my feet again. Make sure you're separating your feet for a nice wide base. Now I'm gonna to turn to the other side. I'm gonna give you guys a second or two to get ready for the other side. My shoulders back and down and we're gonna go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're gonna swing for one, two, three, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, and eight, and across for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. March it out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna give you a little yoga in the chair. For those of you that prefer being seated and it doesn't matter, we can do this sequence again. I just wanna give you guys options, <clears throat> excuse me. So we're gonna do mountain in the chair right now. We're gonna inhale and we're gonna lift. What I want you to do now, we can really concentrate. We don't have to worry about our balance right now. So we wanna concentrate on lifting that rib cage. So we're getting a nice big breath right into the base of our lungs, into our belly and then back out. So blow it out. Let's do that again. We're going to inhale, lift that rib cage. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale. Now we can really extend. I'm going to turn sideways. I'm going to show you. We're going to extend our back just a little bit and exhale down. So let's go with that breath again. Remember how we did this maybe last week or the week before? I told you to bring that nice strength into those abdominals. Perfect posture, shoulders up, back and down, chest is lifted. The abs are drawn in, but we're going to take that breath now and bring it in and puff out the belly. So we're going to soften the belly as we bring the breath in, and then we tighten up the abs as we push it out. Okay. So it's a little different. Here we go. Inhale, bring it in, soften your belly, bring it right in. Exhale, push it out, right? Inhale, puff out the belly, puff it out, puff it out. Exhale, squeeze those abs together. One more time, inhale, inhale, squeeze. Good, now we're actually gonna do our moonflowers right here. So we're gonna take those legs out here and we're just gonna hinge forward as we push bring our elbows together, right? And out, so we're gonna inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna do our sunflowers right here. We're gonna inhale, pick up those sunflowers and bring them up, right? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale and exhale. So we're gonna go moonflower to sunflower. Moonflower to sunflower. Moonflower to sunflower and moonflower to sunflower. One more and we're gonna stay right here a minute. Let, let's drop down. Um, be mindful, you can leave your hands right here. Just want, if you don't have any issues with vertigo or dizziness, let your head just drop. This is an inversion. 
and it's actually good for us, right? We just want to leave, stay here just for a couple of seconds, not too long, and then come on up slowly, right? It actually does wonders for the chemicals in our brain. Also, now I'm going to turn sideways. You don't have to turn sideways. I'm going to do a cat cow. I want you to inhale, flat back, exhale, scoop the abs in and roll back, right? Inhale, flat back, exhale, scoop and roll. 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 We're gonna go back to center. We're gonna go back into mountain, but we're gonna clap, we're gonna take the big inhale. We're going to elongate our spines, take our hands together, clasp them together and roll through the spine, right? Making sure we have length in that verte the vertebras. We're giving those the length, we're giving that spine a little TLC, turning the other way. Good, and we're gonna bring those hands down slowly and then give that little side to side. But now this time we're gonna stay to one side take our hands to the outside of our legs and chair. We're going to inhale, lift, right? We're elongating the spine. Look over the back shoulder and exhale. Come back to center. Inhale, lift. Look over the back shoulder and exhale. Good. Now, when we come back to center, let's clasp our hands together. Roll open our back. Squeeze that little chest muscle right in the middle there. Good, and now we're gonna do that on the other side. Take your hands right here, elongate your spine, inhale, exhale. Inhale back to center and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good, come back to center. Now we're gonna open our chest. We're gonna take our hands behind us, hold that big beach ball, right? Shoulders back and down. You're now squeezing your back muscles, but you're opening up your chest muscles. Good, and back to center. And I'm gonna spend a little time on our wrists and our hands right now. So I want, first of all, let's warm them up. My hands are freezing right now. Now we're gonna open and close for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now take finger, each finger to your thumb for one, two, three, four, and then back and forward. Now take those wrists and give me some figure eights, right? I'm clasping just nice little figure eights. Good, so let's bring attention back to our nice quads in the front that are gonna protect our knees. So I want you to flex your foot and I want you to feel the strength in the front of that leg, okay? I don't want you to feel it in your knee, I want you to feel it right along the front of that leg, your quadricep, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna do the other side for one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna alternate for one and over and two and over and three and over and four and over and five and over. Now we're gonna go back to that left side. We're gonna work the ankle. We're gonna point flex for one, two, three, four, and five. This leg goes down, the other one up. One, two, three, four, and five. Back down, up, side to side. One, two, three, four, five. Other side, one, two, three, four, Five. Now we're going to circle one, two, three, four, five. Circle the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Circle one, two, three, four, five. Other way. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Back to perfect posture. Shoulders up, back down, chest lifted. Nice long spine. Let's take that big inhale, puff out the belly. Puff it out, blow it out, squeeze those abs. Inhale, puff it out, exhale. Good. Let's give a little side bend here, reaching over to the other side, 
reaching and reaching. Now we're going to do our warrior one this time. That means both toes. We're going to go to the side and right here. We're going to use this as a nice stretch. We're going to take this leg back, opening up that hip, right? The leg that is back is the hand that comes up. We elongate that spine, right? We're pulling up the shoulder and we're going to reach over as we reach across with our other hand. Good. We're going to go back to center with that forward fold, right? Like we did before. Inhale. We're going to exhale. Come on down. Now, if you have dis problems with dizziness, don't drop your head. If you can, just drop gently, opening up that cervical spine just a little bit. Maybe nodding yes, no. Slowly coming back up. Going to a warrior one on the other side, bringing this leg back. Reaching up, bringing this hand underneath, reaching over. Good, and back to center. Now we're gonna do a little work. Not that this is not work, you're working the body, but I want you up and out of your chair, but ever so slightly, we're gonna do chair pose. So chair pose, you're up here, just as if you were the chair. My back is flat. My abs are drawn in, my shoulders are back and down. My hands come into prayer because I'm feeling that really great dynamic tension in those abdominals. And then I slowly sit back down. There should be no discomfort in your knees. If there is, you just sit down gently with the hips back, okay? If you keep your hips back behind your knees, you should be fine because you're working quads and glutes and abs, okay? So let's come back up holding right here, right? Just kind of hovering over that chair. Now we're gonna put our hands in fists, right? Feeling that nice strength in those abdominals. And we're gonna slowly sit back down. We've got a few more of those, okay? Here we go. We're gonna go back to prayer hands here, up, hold here, prayer hands, shoulders back and down, pressing them together again, feeling that nice core engagement slowly sitting down. All right, the next few, we're just gonna go up and down. We're gonna take those arms out and we're gonna bring them on down. We're gonna take those arms out slowly. Remember, you're not coming up all the way, right? You're just kind of lifting and hinging back, right? Lifting and hinging back, lifting, and hinging back. Okay, this one, we're gonna stand right up. Come on up. Ah, all right, guys. You didn't think I was gonna give you any cardio today. I kind of reversed the whole thing, right? So now you're really warmed up and we're gonna do a little marching. So again, you can hold on, right? Absolutely. Marching again is a great balance tool because we're gonna take this march and we're gonna start quickly, right? We're going to march as fast as we can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now we're going to slow it down with opposite hand to opposite knee for 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, you have eight of these, six, seven, and eight. March it out. Come on, march, march, march. Run it out. Come on, let's get the heart rates up right now for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step touch step together. Another little balance challenge here. Okay, so we're going to step, slide, hold, and down. Step, slide, hold. Step, slide, hold. Step, slide, hold. Step, slide, hold. How'd you do? Good. 
Okay, now, wooden soldier march, I call this, right? We can start with just a little legs out, but I'd like you to bring your opposite hand to the opposite leg, right? Opposite. I'm going to do it this, I'm going to do it this way. Again, a nice, great balance tool here, but you're also working, you're working your legs, working those hips. And go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, we're gonna use our chairs. As long as your chairs are not move, they are not moving, I'm gonna put my chair against the wall. I'm gonna do a downward facing dog. Watch me first. This is not for everybody. If you're not comfortable, I'm gonna give you an option, okay? So here, my chair is not moving. So I'm coming back here. I'm not, you can drop your head. I'd suggest just maybe looking towards the back of your chair today. And now just bicycle your knees in and out. So you're getting a really nice, stretch of the back of the body. And then we just sit back as we slide through. This is a little sequence in yoga, right? We're going to a high plank. So you're coming back down dog to a high plank, down dog to a high plank, down dog to a high plank. Now just bicycle the knees in and out walking our feet back up, sitting back, bringing one hand here and here and rolling up ever so gently back to standing. Okay, we're gonna work those glutes a little bit. Take your chair. We're gonna do kickbacks, right? So this is not your, I don't want you just, I want you to feel it in your butt. Very important muscle for the health of your hips, back, knees, okay? So we really want to build that. So you want to feel it. If you're not feeling it there, position your foot. Like if this doesn't work for you, come up maybe a little higher towards the ceiling. You always have a slight bend in that knee that's supporting your body weight. And you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now on eight, give me a little tiny range of motion. You're just like kind of pulsing that muscle. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, and eight. Now, just push the hips out side to side, right? We wanna keep those hips happy. Good, now I'm gonna turn my chair the other way so you can see the other side, right? Knee here, we're gonna lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, little pulse, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come on down, press the hips out, nice and easy. Another hip stretch. We're gonna take one foot in front of the other. I'm gonna do this both ways. You're gonna see me forward and I'm gonna go to the side here. So if we go here, same one leg is over the other. Just giving a nice little press, stretching the hips, crisscrossing the legs the other way, pressing the hips. Coming up slowly. We're gonna go back to our chair and finish with our stretches. You can do, you can do this one standing, but we're gonna do this seated right now. So the first thing I want you to do, if you can, is lift your leg up nice and high. Maybe you can get your heel up on that chair. And this is great for your knees, right? You want that full range of motion here. All right, so we're gonna just give that little Stretch, we're pressing our chest into um hang on. Hey, I'm in a class. I'll call you right back. Okay. Bye. Okay. Other side. Here we go. Other side. Come on up. Bring this leg here. Come across. Now we're gonna come across with a figure four, hinging forward, opening up that hip. Okay, now if this causes any discomfort, pain, don't push, don't push on it. 
just go with it. Just feel the nice stretch. You're going to get the stretch in the hip. Sometimes you just can't, you can't force this one up here, come across. Our bodies are all different. Maybe hinged. Okay, now we're going to go back to, I love that hip opener, right? Helps with back, hips. Okay, knee, knees are facing one side, right? We're going to take that one leg back. We're going to open that hip again. Think about getting this opening right here, reaching up, coming over, taking this hand across. Slowly coming back to center. Let's stretch that chest again. We're going to do this several different ways. You're going to open this way, right? Opening up the chest. Now you're going to take your hands behind your head, a little butterfly stretch. Get those elbows back as far as you can. Now I'm going to turn sideways. I'm actually now going to clasp my hands rolling my shoulders back and down, really opening the chest. Remember I told you how important it is, this prevents us from getting that forward head tilt. That's why we do these stretches because our chests tend to be tight and our backs tend to be weak. So let's, we're gonna hit those stretches again. Let's go over to the other side. Let's get this leg back, opening up your hip here, reaching, coming across. feeling this opening all through here, coming back to center. Now we're gonna open the back, we're gonna clasp our hands and we're gonna squeeze the chest muscle right now, opening up the back. We're only gonna do one of these because I'm gonna pay more attention to opening of the chest than I am the back. Okay, so let's do this one again, holding that big beach ball. Also you can hold behind your chair. If you can reach behind your chair, great. Shoulders back and down, opening up the chest. Think about from here to here, shoulders, chest, and just give me those big breaths right now. Bring them right into your belly and out. Again. And good. Hands behind your head, open up the chest. taking those hands behind you, clasping them, rolling open the chest and shoulders. Excellent, relax them. Now we're gonna stretch the front of our neck. I want you to gently come all the way back. Think about oh, just this whole stretch. Couple of nice deep breaths. Now don't drop your head forward, come to neutral first, ears over shoulders, right? Ears over shoulders, good. Now gently bring your chin to your chest, opening up the back of your neck. Coming back to neutral. Bringing your head back, opening the front. Coming to neutral and back down. Good, back to neutral. Give me one stretch, take one hand down, bring this one up and over. Taking this hand down and bring it up and over. Good, let's see how now that you're really, you have a whole class behind you, you should be nice and warm. We're gonna really lengthen the spine right now. Like picking your spine up towards the ceiling. Just hold that nice stretch. And again, nice, easy rotation. Back the other way. Good, let's go to our figure eights. On everything just to feel good right now. Good, a little gentle twist of the lower spine. Good, let's come up out of our seat. And we are going to end with what we started with, our mountain. Remember what I said? Big toe, little toe, inside of your heel, outside of your heel, pressing all 10 toes in, bring all 10 toes up and just putting them back down. Inhaling up, reaching for the sun, exhaling down. All right, ladies, everybody have a great rest of your day, rest of your week, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Bye, you're welcome.
when you tell somebody talking talk to me? About, yeah. When you talk yes, about soft, soft belly. Yes. When I breathe in, my belly goes in. So it's not really soft. You have to actually train yourself. It's a different, it's not the normal breathing that our anatomic breath. So what you want to do, you can actually put one hand on your chest and one on your belly. So you're going to feel it's a three part breath in yoga. So when you want to bring it in, you, you really have to train yourself to go, okay, it's down by my throat. my throat. It's into my chest. It's in my belly. You, you can actually, you actually have to work on it. Um, it's, it's a learned breath. It truly is. Um, and this is the, the yoga breath that we talk about that calms down that nervous system. We want to get that breath all to that deep part of our abdomen and then try pushing out forcefully go and you can feel your belly getting tight so it's it's an inhale my belly's going out inhale bring it in pressing it out so it's a little bit of a practice i want you to do it probably seated or lying down so you don't get dizzy um but you'll get it. You'll eventually get it. It's, it's diaphragmic breathing. It's down through here, right? It's not, it's not here. And we're so used to bring, bringing it in and tightening it up, right? We don't want to do that. We want to reverse it. Okay. So sometimes we you call it actually our, are breathing in three different spots. You're bringing that breath into three different spots. Yes. From your right wow. nose connected to your trachea into the deep part of your lungs into okay. your belly and then and it, it comes back yeah it's almost like a meditative it, it really will it works it works it's just you just have to it's have to learn how to do it right we just automatically breathe practice so, yeah exactly that's what yoga is it's a practice yep absolutely yeah good question okay, okay. thank you you're welcome thank you bye